How's it going guys? Junior here with A Mustangs, bringing you back another video. As you can see here in the background, we got the saline truck, the S331. Today, we're going to be showing you guys how to do your calipers or paint them. Um, the easy and affordable way. So, stay tuned. So as you can see, obviously, you want to jack up your truck or, or car, put it on some jack stands, make sure it's secure, give it a little push, make sure it doesn't move. Um, so first things first, obviously, we got to clean them. Brakes make a lot of brake dust, um, especially some particular pads. Fortunately for the salines, only two companies make the pads, one being saline themselves, which are really expensive, or um, power stop. I do, however, um, when I bought these power stops because they were squeaking like no other uh, when I got the truck, um, they were on back order, so I went to another company, ordered them, they shipped them, but then by the time I was able to cancel this one, they had already shipped them as well. So, if anybody needs some brake pads for some S331s, the big brake kit, I have some. Hit me up, I can sell them. I have a spare, brand new set. Um, anyways, the downfall from the, obviously, power stops or being limited to only like two brands of brake pads is they make a lot of dust, as you can see on here. So, we got to make sure to clean this really good. Um, best thing to use is brake cleaner reason being is because this leaves no residue for when you spray um, I'm still gonna hit it with alcohol just in case but you want to use something like this because let's say I got my hose and water washer you gotta wait for it to completely dry because any water spots will ruin your paint so it just takes that much longer to do your brakes um, and of course I got the roush over there but let's say this is your only vehicle you want to kind of knock this out in a day you know um, so we're gonna go ahead and this just First things first, I'm going to try to just spray it, see what comes off. I do have a wire brush here with my drill. We'll see if we need to use that. Probably not. I might just uh, get an old toothbrush and get in there if it comes out fairly easy. Um, and then, uh, so we'll make sure to clean it off all really good. And then I'll, I'll get back with you guys with the end product. And then I'll let you, know, let you guys know if I use the drill or not or what steps I took. All right, so I got these all clean. Um, brake cleaner worked pretty good, but it was still some spots like up here. And then in between here that were kind of kicked on there and the brake cleaner didn't get it off. So quick tech or quick little tip. I have this uh, citrus degreaser cleaner from Jack's Wax. I think it's the HD wheel and tire, I believe. Um, and the foaming little thing. So I sprayed that on there. Got a little toothbrush. Scrubbed it. Cleaned right up. So that's uh, as clean as it's going to get. Obviously this is going to be a professional job. Um, I would love to you know take these off, really clean them really well, and then spray them out um, with actual like not spray paint, but actual like you uh, mix and paint car paint. Um, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do a quick, simple, you know, make them look better than they were kind of job. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I got some sandpaper, some that I had laying around. I'm gonna go ahead and hit at least the face here and places where it's like chipped off, because as you can see here, the little coating that it has is just kind of peeling off like nothing so I'm gonna get all the loose stuff off make it smooth at least in the face because that's what you mainly see and that's the the nicest part of the caliper is this um, and that's what you can see behind the wheel um, so we gotta make sure it's smooth because if you just paint it like that you're gonna you're gonna see that below the paint so it's gonna look you know crappier than kind of a easy job that I'm doing now so I'm gonna go ahead and sand at least this face off and like I said the chips here and there and then I'll get back with you guys and then we'll go over to the other side clean that side and then I'll show you guys how to mask. I am gonna do the back however the way the calipers are the back there I might end up taking the the center part off and the pads to spray them nice because to mask those it's gonna be a pain in the butt. So let me go ahead and get something these we'll do the fronts and then I'll get back with you guys. Alright so we got this all nice and smooth uh, you don't see the crinkling or the peeling of the little it's kinda like rubber that's on there I guess you can say some coating. So that's sanded um, I am going to spray this side first just to see how it looks because I'm not going to do both sides if it's going to look like trash then I'll let you know then we'll go ahead and take them off do them the right way 
or the professional way, I guess you can say. Um, so to mask them, quick tr or a little trick is you get a trash bag, cut it on the bottom and on one side so it opens up, as you can see. And then what we're going to do is cut a little slit, you know, probably half the size of this caliper. And what we're going to do is what we're going to we're going to stretch the bag over the caliper, and we're going to let the tension of the bag kind of go around the the caliper itself and protect the rotor and back there and then we're going to tape out here whatever it reaches to and then obviously we'll tape off the little uh, drain plugs all that stuff these I was going to mask or try to take off but then it could, the caliper might come apart although it, you see it has three bolts up top and the bottom but also don't want to risk breaking those so what I might end up doing is I'm probably going to just spray it and then probably take a razor blade and try to take off just the face of these that way they pop I don't know, I'm still thinking about that. And then the other hardest part I was gonna have to be masking is this little piece of hose or line here. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to mask. So, gonna mask all that after that and then uh, we'll start spraying and we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed, uh, it looks half decent, you know, kind of like a five footer kind of situation uh, for the work that we're doing and uh, we'll see. All right, so as you can see, I got everything masked off. Um, I did tuck some tape in here where the pads are. And then that's what I mean by the cutting the slit for the caliper half the size. When you stretch it out, it kind of contracts back in there. I did tape here because you can see a little bit of the pad in the rotor. Um, and we taped off this bottom line, which was a pain in the butt. We'll see how it turns out. And then I just threw a blanket over here just in case our spray gets out. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and do just a tack spray. I'm going to hope, fingers crossed. Oh, I'm going to hit it with some alcohol too. I'm going to go get some alcohol from inside. Um, and then do a tack coat and make sure it doesn't bubble up and then give it five minutes Do more coats. I'll pick you guys up once I go get the alcohol from inside All right, so this is the paint they're gonna be using. It's the most common caliper paints the one that I've used on um, my mock one I had some copper colored ones and Then on my uh, Roush the back calipers. Uh, I use the same VHT. So they have a couple variety of colors um, It has a semi-gloss finish as you guys will see but I'm still gonna hit it with some high temp clear coat and then I got some other little thing to put here in the big blank spot too that I'll show you guys later, a little trick. Um, so we're going to go ahead and shoot some tack spray and then, uh, let's see, let's open this. Hopefully no bubbling. Let's see. Alright, so it's a lot stronger as you can see. We're still getting some spots here and there. So probably gonna have to sand the whole thing because it seems like the paint doesn't like that rubber thing. So I guess it's a good thing I sprayed it so I made sure. So back to sanding. Alright guys, so as you can see I ended up getting a razor blade and just whoop, scraping it off. And then and then they're working so um, again, I don't plan on this on looking like commercial quality or um, professional quality or anything like that. So this is just tips for you guys. Making stuff at home the cheap way, you know, trying to... This is my daily. I mean, honestly, this yellow pops. It From this thing, from this distance, they look cherry. I'm, I'm going to try to scrape off the, the little bolts. I don't know, we'll see, because I also, this one's a little close to the the caliper and if I go a little too past I'm gonna scratch it so I might just leave it and then um, spend like two three minutes on the first coat I'm gonna let it sit for another minute or so because this stuff goes on pretty thick I wasn't expecting it to go on this thick usually it doesn't go on this thick uh, but apparently this yellow one pretty much covered on the first coat um, obviously I want to do probably one more and then we'll see how they look so I want it to be decently thick um, and then we'll let it dry and then I'll I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do to kind of give it a little bit of contrast here and then we'll clear coat them and then we'll move on to the other side um, so stay tuned for that I'll let you guys know how many coats we did and then also we'll pick you guys up when I'm gonna do the, the other little detail on there alright so uh, here's the finished product on the yellow stage um, ended up doing three coats as you can see it's pretty much not tacky anymore um, I did remove the tape where the tape was kind of close to the paint 
when it was fresh that way because if sometimes if you let it dry and you pull it it cracks or it peels towards the finished product so you don't want that um the only things i did leave is the ones i tucked in here and the wrap because i still need to clear coat it and i don't want any clear on the rotors or anything like that so the next step i'm gonna do is i ordered these off of ebay so they're sailing decals all right so i'm gonna do this as so so i don't know if you guys remember when i first started doing the calipers it had a yellow saline lettering on it and the caliper was black so I decided to reverse it I like the yellow with the gray I think it looks clean I know a couple people have done it um, and then we did the silver lettering to match the rest of the saline decals on the truck so we're gonna go ahead and place these you want to do this before you clear coat um, that way when you put them on there you're gonna clear coat on top of everything including the decals so that way one the clear coat protects the decal from whenever you do your brakes if you haven't when you do brake cleaner or the temperature or all that stuff anything it protects the decal and everything together and it prevents them from coming off so we're gonna go ahead and install these real quick i'm gonna probably go from top to bottom on this side probably on both sides i don't know the other side we'll see but on this side i know the original one was like this so i'm gonna go ahead and do that apply this i'm gonna see eyeball it see where the center is make sure it's straight and then we'll clear coat this take this cover of the the wrapper off and then I'll probably get another trash pack for the other side and then mask the other side and then we'll do the other side so stay tuned all right so as you can see this is the finished product um, this is the clear coat that I got it's some uh, engine enamel gloss clear so it's meant for high temp as you can see right here and it stands oil and all that good stuff so again you apply the decal and then you clear coat out of it and you can see it's got a nice gloss to it the paint had a decent nice little gloss to it but it was more like a semi gloss once you do the clear it completely changes it and then now you can really see how really big and massive these calipers are I never realized how big they are especially being black with those huge 23 inch wheels you really can't tell how big these brakes are but look, just look at this they're huge and now I mean they honestly they turned out really good um, obviously it's not perfect it doesn't look like a professional did it however especially with the wheel on you won't be able to see back here where there's some type of back I still got to take the tape off of in there it looks really good as you can see here um, but eventually on the painting this centerpiece black um, these waters don't rubbed or anything so I probably just got to refinish them the the little rusted here but other than that that's good the back I did do slot and drill rotors so those are nice and clean um, so now I'm gonna move on to the other side. I probably won't film that side, um, cause obviously you guys get the, the idea. I'll probably film the back ones though, um, just because those are slightly different. They're probably more of what most people have. Obviously not everybody's gonna have like four piston, six piston brakes like these. Um, so they're a little, they're a lot easier to paint cause you don't have brake pads, the clips and stuff like that. Whereas like the back, I'll show you guys in a little bit, they have clips, so I'm probably gonna have to take them off um, to do a good, uh, decent job I should say. Not a perfect job, but a decent job. Um, I hate when people spray them and they paint the caliper or the pads and everything. It just, to me, it doesn't look good. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I'll pick you guys up when I do the back one. Alright, so we're here to the back side. Um, as I mentioned before, the rotors are brand new. So those are nice, at least nice and clean. Um, these, this is what I meant right here. So this clip, I was going to say, if they didn't have these clips, I could probably mask it. And then just spray it. Um... But meaning that it has, or seeing that it has these clips, I'm probably just going to take off the caliper and take off the this pad. And then um, paint it here separate, hang it, or, or actually just put it back here without the pad. And then just mask behind the, the caliper and spray it. I'll see what I decide. Obviously, I'll pick you guys up and then tell you what I decided to do. But I'm definitely taking off this brake pad right here because of these clips. Or I guess I could mask around it. We'll see what I decide to do. I got the tools right here. We'll see. If it comes off easy, sure enough, then I'll probably just take it off. So, uh, let me decide what to do and I'll pick you guys back up and then we're going to paint these back ones. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and take off the caliper. It's pretty simple. Um, if you haven't... I don't know if it's the same for all 04 to 08 F-150s, but this one's an 07. You just got two 10 millimeter bolts, as you can see down there. Just pop those off. You push this clip down. That's clipped right here. And boop. Pop it out. And then uh, I'll go ahead and take off that pad and then we'll mask everything. So I'll show you guys once it's masked. So I just wanted to give you guys a, an update. We're going to go ahead and take this caliper off or the pad and then put the caliper back and mask everything around it as we did on the other calipers. All right. So as you can see, I got everything masked off. I did take that brake pad off. It's over there. 
Um, I did mask because I was going to take these clips off, but sometimes they break and I don't have spares right now. So I masked where the pad kind of slides in there. I didn't want it to be just the slight buildup of the paint to get it to get stuck or something. You never know. So I masked along that and then I masked where the pad is, all the grommets and everything. And then I reused the trash bags and just wrapped around the, the rotor. So now we're just going to go ahead and spray it. Simple like the other one. I'm going to try it as best I can to get kind of where you see over here. And then we'll clear coat it. No decals on this one. Actually, I have some decals. But... I think they're too big for here and I think it'd be too much so uh, they're just gonna be yellow on this one so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray them probably give them three coats like the other ones and I'll show you guys the finished product all right guys so this is uh, I did I ended up doing four coats actually because on this one I don't know if it's type of material the paint didn't paint as much as the other one or cover as much as the other one I should say so I had to do one more coat on this one but they ended up they turned out pretty good um, I already clear coated I'm gonna start peeling the tape now that it's fresh um, the one thing I did think about, we'll see, hopefully not, uh, when if this pads go in with that clip, let's see, so this clip kind of slides in there, so I'm feeling I'm going to probably scratch a line on each side, we'll see, hopefully not, hopefully it just, it's the piece right here and then the metal covers it, if not then, um, I'll mask and do a little touch up there I guess, I mean. I guess we'll know for the next one. So if you guys have one of these forwards, I'll let you know in here a little bit if, if it scratches there. If that's the case, then I would probably just mask the the things. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and start unmasking everything. And then let it dry before I put the pad back on, obviously. And then we'll start on the other side. Um, I'm not going to film the other side like, I'm, like I mentioned earlier because it's the same process. Um, if I end up doing something different on that side, I'll let you guys know. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and then I'll show you guys the finished product uh, here in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm all done. Sorry, it's hot as heck. I'm obviously doing this outside, uh, cause I don't wanna get any overspray on the Roush or anything like that. But I got this wheel on the, that had the lug nuts on the sun. They were hot as heck, so I only put two on for now. But this is what it looks like behind the wheel. Um, truck's a bit dirty, so once these cure completely probably tonight, or tomorrow, I should say, I'll, uh, wash it and then I'll do a cool cinematic video at the end of this video and then this is the back ones and as I mentioned earlier this did end up scratching there so what I'm gonna end up doing is probably on the cap once I do the other side uh, filling it up with the spray paint and then just get a little brush and kind of touch it up um, I might just send it on the other one and just mask it I don't know we'll see but uh, all the all the that scratch was the, just a little line that's what it looks like. Um, obviously, none of the lines or anything is painted, so it looks better when you do it this way. But that's the only downfall is the way that these pads mount. It's gonna scratch it. I mean, unless it was powder coated or something. But I mean, spray paint. I mean, it's pretty rough. It probably would scratch it even if I would let it sit for two days. So that's the finished product. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of off and on here. It's a quick, simple video. Um, like I said, uh, once I wash the truck, cause she's really dirty right now, I'll do a cool cinematic, um, the way she looks with the chrome wheels, with the gray, you know, all around with the wheels on, dropped. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments if the color was a good choice, or if you guys would have gone a different route, or if you have any questions in regards to this truck or any of the vehicles, just comment down below. Alex, and I, Alex or I will try to uh, respond to you guys. So, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.